In this video, we unbox the HSP Stealth. Basically, it's it's this one, but it's not high performance. It's the cheapest one there is because I plan on changing out all the electrics, as I'll show you in a moment, to different ones. Oh, and there's tape on this as well. Nice. Just get it all out and sit on the table. So as you can see, right here, we brought the HSP Stealth. Definitely nice and clean. It's this out of here a very big zip tie control there right, now the car should come off all right so here's the car Let's get you guys up closer. Okay, so you guys are looking straight down on top of the car now. Classic chassis. That's alright. Aluminum shock towers and all that. Metal drive shafts. All that stuff. Uh, let's just have a look underneath. So basically all these stock electronics will be coming out. Because I'm using it as a speed car as I just said. Got in it. Brushed motor, speed controller in there, and all that. So here's the trans now. I'll show you guys that real quick. Same color as the car, obviously. It's your standard one. Should be okay for what I need it for. It's eight AA batteries. That's most of them do. It feels okay. So yeah, this is just the standard brushed version and the brushed ESC and all that with a whatever this battery is. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah, that's that's not the best battery, but it is what it is. Not gonna be using it anyways. I don't know what kind of Lifers I'll be able to fit in this. I'm hoping I can just get a small 4S lifer or something and get it to fit. That'd be good. There's the center drive shaft, if you can see. Nice big red aluminum one. Seems pretty solid. Oil field shock. It's nice and plush feeling. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this car down below because it's not a bad car for what it is. Um, I mean, if you just want to check it out, you can. But I'm going to be using this car here as a base model for a cheap speed series. So in a moment, I'm going to get out the stuff from my other truggy and I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in it. And we're going to see how fast we can go and how much it's going to cost to get it to do... I don't even know yet. I'm going to try and aim for like 100 kilometers an hour or something like that. Hopefully faster, but we'll see how it goes. 
see if it holds together. Alright, I'll go get the truggy stuff now and I'll show you what I'm going to put in it. This is what I'm going to put in it. I have a 2250kV supposedly waterproof brushless motor. 4S capable, probably 6S actually I think it is, and I have a, I don't know what this is but it came out of one of my things, 2 to 4S LiPo, 100 amps, so this is what we're going to be running in the buggy, but we're not going to do that just yet, first thing I'm going to do is open up this, have a look in there, see how the motor mounts, but first we're going to have to have a look into this, and see what's going on in there and whatnot. I will show you how fast this is out of the box basically. It's not going to be very fast I don't think. But I will show you, just so you know, because this is, is an unboxing of this car, which is a good car for someone that's starting out. But anyways, let's, um, let's just open this up and have a look what's going on in there. Alright, let's open it up and have a look what's going on inside. How does it come off? Um, looks like it just pulls off, but it doesn't. Nothing else is holding it. Okay, it does just pull off, it kind of like clips in there like a shield. Alright, so as you can see, right here, it's kind of like, yeah, I think the big motor will just fit straight in. That's a plastic spur gear, a metal pinion gear, but We'll see how it holds up, I guess. Alright, we'll put it back together now. Yeah. So it's all back together now. Uh, there's just one last thing I'd like to check. And that is whether these wheels have bearings or not. So I'm going to grab my little wrench and I'm going to check it. Okay, let's have a look. I hope it does, otherwise that's probably going to have to be something I have to upgrade. Before going fast. Even comes off. Okay, so no, as you can see, so that little go bit there, I believe, from what it feels like, I believe it's just um, a little bushing design, which is not bad. I'm not sure how fast we can go on it, but we'll find out. Right, I'm going to get this back together and then put the battery on the charger and then we'll take it out for a little spin and see how it goes stock. Overall, it's, perfect. it's a nice car for the price, like honestly. It's not going to fall apart on you and it's pretty solid looking. Alright, well I'll just cut to when we get it out for some driving. See you guys then. That's full speed. That's literally flat chat. <laughs> it's not too bad though if it was a starter car, like your first ever car. It's real smooth and easy to drive. Alright, let's take it to the dirt road. It's a bit windy where I am at the moment, hopefully it doesn't ruin nothing. That wind's not coming through. It's quite windy here.
at full speed. You can't wait to see what it's like once we put a bigger motor in that in it though. Either way, it's still pretty fun to play with. It's not the fastest. I knew that though, because I was buying the slowest model. So I'm playing on keeping it stuck. So it's a flat chat party. Oh, where's that sound? I don't know what that is. Probably bring that back and check that out. Alright, it was just a rock got stacked somewhere next to the drive shaft, that's all it was. Nothing major. The battery seems to be lasting quite a while though. Oh, that's some good recording. It's so windy out here, I think I'm going to call it. I don't know how well this footage has turned out. Oh, there goes another rock. Oh. Alright guys, that's all I've got for today. It's that windy out here. I'm trying to cover the mic, but it's probably not working. Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you think down below. Let us know how fast you want to see this car go, because I don't really have a, a goal for how fast to make it yet, but we'll just see how it goes. Alright guys, see you in the next video.